Welcome back guys, welcome back. I'm out with the O3 air unit on my little IH2 iFlight drone again today. Do you remember I was having some issues with the footage not looking that stable? So I've been using the Rocksteady stabilization built into the O3 air unit because I can't be bothered to mess around with gyro flow. Um, and I just want to try and get, you know, quick footage that looks decent. Um, and for the most part, it has been pretty good, but there has been a little bit of jello here and there. And I, I'm sensing there's vibrations. I know that this quad isn't the best design for the job, but also the camera mounting was very hard. Even though it's on TPU, it was quite hard. So what I've done, check this out guys, I've actually created a bit of a soft mount here using some little O-rings, some rubber O-rings. So you can see the camera has got a bit of damping on now, which is hopefully gonna work better. I've also moved it forward. Um, there's a risk that I might obviously spank it and damage the camera um, being a bit further forward. But, you know, I just wanted to show you guys the footage without, you know, the frames in view. Because the last couple of videos I've obviously done that and it's not been ideal. So let's go for a fly and see what it, um, see what it all looks like.
wow, how amazing was that footage? That's that's crazy. That's the best I've seen it. That is the best I've seen the O3 Air unit onboard footage. Um, it was 4K, 60 frames a second in ultra wide mode. If you haven't already set your YouTube to high quality mode, make sure you do because it will probably default on YouTube to like 480p or something rubbish. Um, so you won't see the full quality of that. Um, but yeah, I'm so impressed with that. It's, it's amazing to have you know that sort of quality on a drone that big without an external camera i've tried loads of stuff to get footage you know on, on a small micro like this and it just isn't feasible most of the time because you can't carry a gopro which is ultimately the best thing um you know to carry to get footage on a drone i mean we shouldn't forget the dji Varta. it will deliver this kind of footage on the daily that's what it's designed for so you know you can literally just plug and play and go with this drone and get footage like that without actually even needing to learn how to fly fpv so this is amazing but it is really noisy this thing and it's heavy as well um, it's, it's quite powerful it's not as powerful as, as something like this the power to rate ratio is higher on this so you can do a lot more with this but also this is a lot more discreet it doesn't make a lot of noise this is really loud and if you start rocking up to places with this and trying to fly this people are going to go oh no there's a drone in here it's going to kill me and of course four inch or five inch drones like that one behind me are just damn right dangerous and you've got to obviously be really careful where you fly those things so it's really good now i've got some proper options depending on where i want to fly anyway guys hope you found this useful hope you like the new tune and i'll catch you next time